Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to focus on some very simple card ideas, which feature a fun embossing folder. It's, it's like an embossing folder and die set combined. So Stampin' Up! calls this a hybrid embossing folder. And so today I'm going to showcase the delightful doilies dies. So let me open these up here for you. So this particular die set has an embossing folder, the delightful doily hybrid embossing folder, and then it has some coordinating dies. And the cool thing about this embossing folder is that you can cut and emboss at the same time. So it's a pretty cool uh, concept. So good morning, everybody. Good morning. So I'm gonna share a couple of card ideas that feature this particular set. And then um, I'm also showcasing the country, is it country in, countryside in designer series paper. Um, so I like the boho blue and the night of navy together. So I thought that would be the perfect color combination for these particular cards. So let's get started looking at these card ideas. So here's what I have for you. I have four different card ideas. We're not going to make them all, but I'm going to show you some fun things that you can do with this particular die set. So let me move these out of the way here. And what I want to show you is the embossing folder has just this beautiful doily um, design in it. So if you know me, <laughs> you know I love doilies. So the cool thing about this embossing folder, well, let me grab, let me grab this, is that um, the dies. Well, actually, it goes in like this, I think. The dies fit inside this embossing folder. So they line up with um, the image inside here. And you can cut a variety of different things as you emboss. So there's this little circle shape that cuts out this fun design. Or you can um, just cut out the large doily. Or you can use this other little die, if I can grab it you can use this other little die as well. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this embossing folder. I'm only gonna touch on just a few today, um, but I did link to my video on uh, embossing with ink. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend that. Uh, I'll show you some of the embossing that I did with ink today. Um, the other stamp set that I'm using is called Lasting Joy. So I'm using a lot of the florals in this set um, just to decorate my cards. And this set coordinates very nicely with the Countryside Inn suite. Um, and then I could have used one of the greetings in the Lasting Joy set, but I'm actually um, using the Congratulations greeting today from the Something Fancy set. So... You don't have to do that. Um, with the card designs that I'm sharing, you can use any one of these uh, smaller greetings from Lasting Joy. So I'm going to focus on these two cards today because I want to show you some fun things that you can do with this embossing folder. So um, you'll notice that I did some embossing with ink, so I'm not going to show you that technique. Um, you can watch the entire video and catch that technique. Um, by watching the video that I linked to in the description with this video. But I'm going to show you how I created this fun little design here and how I created this little design here. So the cool thing about this embossing folder is, like I said, is that you can um, cut out all these pieces to create some fun cards. So that's what I did. So basically what I did is I embossed with ink. So I inked up my embossing folder with boho blue, and then I embossed this entire piece of cardstock. So I didn't ink and emboss at the same time. I just actually embossed. And then what I did is I went back and I cut out these different pieces so that I could use them in my card making today. So all these pieces fit together. You know, this fits inside here and that fits inside there. So you can use all of these pieces for your card making. I'm just gonna use these two for right now. So I'm gonna start out with this particular card. 
So notice how I cut out the center piece here because I'm saving that for card number two. And we're just gonna use this piece for our card making, at least for this particular card. <laughs> so the first thing I did is I cut a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. So that's what I'm using for the base of the card. And then I embossed another piece of cardstock. So this is just a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And you'll notice that I cut the center out of this piece um, because I used the center from this piece to make a third card. <laughs> so there's lots of different things that you could do with this set. So I'm going to just adhere this piece. I'm going to get some fuzz off of here. I'm going to adhere this piece down to my card front. There we go. So this actually worked out really great to remove that center piece because then it gives me a place to put my design for this particular card. Plus, then I can use this center piece that I cut out to make a third card. All right, so that's just going to go in the background there. And then I'm going to take a little piece of designer paper. So I used one of the dies from the set just to cut out this circle shape from the designer paper. So that's just going to go right in the center there, right where I removed that other piece. And then I'm going to take this piece that I cut from that other, when I did the uh, embossing with ink, I'm going to use this piece and just put this right over the top. So it's a super simple little card idea, um, but it's just beautiful. I love just kind of mixing and matching these different doily shapes together. So let's see, we are going to put this on. I'm just popping it up with dimensionals. We'll put that on like that. And then I just created a little greeting. So this is just a half inch wide, this piece with the congratulations. It's two and a half inches long. And then this is three quarter by two. So I'm just going to adhere these two pieces together and add my greeting. So I like just adding a little bit of color behind my greeting, not necessarily matting the entire greeting out. And let me grab some dimensionals here. Need some little ones. So I'm going to put a little dimensional right there. So the rest of the greeting is just going to rest right on top of the doily. So we'll add that. And that's the extent of this card. And then you can just add some gems. I added some little boho blue gems. So I'll add those right away. And there you go. So super simple and just a really pretty card. And I think, did I do something on the inside? I did, I just added some designer paper on the inside of this particular card. But I just love the embossing and I love the doily look. <laughs> so you guys know me, I love doilies. All right, so that is the first card. So the second card actually uses this leftover piece that I cut out of that out of this other one here. So I cut that right out of this and we're going to use it on this particular card. So with this particular card, I have a couple die cut shapes. So let me show you that. So I have a doily that I cut out using the embossing folder. And then I have this piece from that other card. And then I have a um, a little circle shape. Actually, I think I cut this the wrong way. <laughs> I have a little circle shape that was just a little bit bigger. 
Uh, let's see here. Hang on one second. I think I got to go grab my punch. That was a two and a quarter inch circle shape. <laughs> Just when I thought I was all ready <laughs> to go. So I had cut a circle shape using my punch actually is what I did. So it's just two and a quarter because the circle that you get is um, <laughs> the circle that you get inside here is the exact same size as this one. So we can't use that one. We need a slightly larger one. So this is a two inch circle shape. This is a two and a quarter inch. Sorry about that, guys. I swear every time I do this, I always forget something. All right. So let's do this. Um, so I have boho blue for the base of my card. And then I just cut, I, I actually used just a leftover piece of um, designer paper that I had. So this is just a one and three ace by five and a half, but you can easily do one and a half or one and a quarter, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put that right down the center. Let's add that. And then I'll slide this over a little bit. Then I just cut two little pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock. So these are just a quarter inch wide and they are five and a half inches long. And I'm just gonna put these on each side. So this is a great way to use up your scraps. If you have scrap, cardstock. Turn this. All right, so it creates a nice little matting. And then this piece, I have a three by four inch piece of vellum. So that's just going to go right in the center. And the doilies are going to actually cover up that glue, so you won't see the glue. And then we'll just take our doily. And I think this is just going to go in the center here. Let's adhere these two pieces together so you get an idea. And this is going to go in the center of the doily. And then I popped up my doily. So let's get some dimensionals on there. Well, I had a couple. <laughs> I guess this is more than a couple. <laughs> so we'll add these. Ah. All right, and then this will just go right in the center. And then you can just decorate it any way you want. So I added the same greeting that I used on the first card I showed you. So these two are just get adhered together. And then we'll pop that up. And then this time I added a little floral design right in the center. And so this little flower came from the Lasting Joy stamp set. So I just stamped it on a scrap piece of paper and then just cut it out with a scissors. And so I'm just going to pop that up in the center. And good morning, everybody. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm just gonna pop this up just like that, right in the center, and then we'll just add a couple gems. So it's a really pretty way to use that doily. I like the white and the blues together. And that's basically it. And then on the inside, I just stamped that little image again and just added another scrap piece of cardstock. So this is a quarter inch wide by five and a quarter, because this is a this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. So I just added a little bit of blue in there, dark blue. And those are the two cards that I have for you. So let me show you the other one. This is the other one that we created. So basically we created these um, just by kind of cutting this doily apart. So you cut out that center piece and use it over here and then just replace the center piece here with designer paper. So that's just one fun way um, that you can use this particular hybrid embossing folder. And then I have a couple other card ideas. So I have this one. So you can see I embossed um, and I cut out this large doily uh, from the center. So this large doily here is what I cut out from the center of this one. So this large white doily. And then I, so I used the negative space here and just added some designer paper behind that and then added um, a little bit of vellum and then created this fun little design. Uh, in the center using that embossing folder. So it's a great way to use your negative space, you know, the negative space from cutting out that doily. And then this other one is um, something that I did a little different. I used the die. Let me show you the die here. So besides using the embossing folder, um, there is also a large doily die. So there's this very detailed die, and that's what I use to create this doily for the card. And then you can just use the coordinating die cut to cut it out. So I just um, cut this on a piece of white cardstock. That's how I created this little doily. And then I did um, use the centerpiece from which card did I use that from? Oh, from the first card that I showed you from here. So remember, I cut a hole here in this uh, embossed piece of paper. So I took that embossed piece that I cut out of here and I put it over this white doily and then just added some florals um, to create this really pretty card. So, so yes, yeah, so fun, fun little card ideas. Let's see if I can get them all on here for you guys. So you can see them. I will get them out on my blog as well later today. So you'll be able to get all the measurements and some additional information out there if you didn't catch the video. So, all right, so that is what I have for you today. I just wanted to share some fun little card ideas with you and kind of show you some different things that you can do with this delightful doily. So if you're just joining me, this is what I'm featuring, the Delightful Doily Dies. So it has a hybrid embossing folder, and it has some, obviously, coordinating dies that you can use to cut and emboss at the same time. And then you can also um, do a lot, well, you could do a lot of things with uh, this particular set, but you can um, do some ink embossing. So notice how here I have the ink. I have some boho blue ink in the background here. So if you're not familiar with ink embossing, I did link to my video um, that I did probably a week ago. So you can take a look at that and learn how to use ink with your embossing and just kind of take your embossing to a whole new level. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed these card ideas. And um, like I said, I'll get them out on the blog for you later today. So have a wonderful Sunday and a great rest of your week, and I will see you all again next week. So take care, everybody.